Okay, welcome back. Deadly Northern Lights, thanks for visiting the big board. Need to give you a little update and work out where we're at here, uh, sort of on the fly. Um, interesting situation. It's roughly, roughly the end of the NATO turn. There are some other things that NATO can do if they wish to. But the important thing that occurred is that over here, whoops, he said very carefully, zooming in right here. This particular brigade and uh, a artillery unit underneath electronic warfare unit uh, for support attacked into this hex. Uh, the remnants or the what's called the divisional base, uh, basically the headquarters component of uh, an armored division. The armored division had a couple of uh, flak units in the hex and also had its electronic warfare capability uh, unit there as well. And so we had a combat and uh, before before we got into that whole combat you know you don't want to just fly air support in until you actually suppress the flak that's in there because in fact this in this case for that stack there were two flak units that were able to you know affect anything that came at them uh, we did that because this air support area this air supremacy area that that, that nato has has a lot of uh, firepower in it and they will, they will be able to most likely knock down any interceptors that the Soviets sent. So what the Soviets wanted to do was use flak as a means of protecting that HQ or that divisional base formation. Now, what the, uh, what the, the Swedes decided to do was uh, call upon the, where is he? Uh, he's over here, I think I'll put him back somewhere. This might be him. Nope, yep, that's not him. He's here somewhere. Stealth guy. Where are you, stealth guy? Uh, it's the F-117s, wherever they are. They're actually in this game. And uh, you, don't, you, you don't get, uh, you only get the benefit of being stealth basically one time. After that, you, uh, there's some modifiers that uh, sort of denigrate or degrade, here it is, uh, degrade the uh, capabilities of the stealth formation. Right. And he does have a pretty decent evasion number eight but certainly not the best by any means you know we've got f-16s that have evasion numbers of 10 uh, so anyway they uh, what what they are also capable of is a standoff attack which means when they come in to do flak suppression they are able to uh, do that uh, from standoff which means they don't get shot at so they were able to sue to suppress the flak in that hex and that uh, that actually reminds me, uh, I, I also would have had to do an additional flak suppression run because it's, I believe, the flak suppression action is not against the hex, it's actually against, well, maybe it's against the hex. Now, that's what I need to look up So uh, and, and double check, but it, uh, if it's against the hex, then we're good. If not, then I would have to do multiple attacks in there to resolve that uh, against each flak unit. So I think the way I've been playing it most of the time is that it's against the hex. And if that's the case, we'll just be consistent and it's a one shot deal and they manage to suppress all of the flak. And which now as I'm talking it through, sounds like it might be a little unrealistic for that to be the case, but it may not be, I don't know. You know, given the time scale and all that sort of fun stuff. Anyway, uh, I digress significantly. We, su we suppress the flak and then that allows us to bring ground support uh, attacks using the ground support factors of these various units here, five, two, four, and then there were three other units over there. We brought six uh, units into the battle. They add their combat, <coughs> their ground support uh, numbers to the combat. This bumps us up over seven to one. Everything over seven to one is gonna then become a row shift on the CRT, highly beneficial, and we need that because or we're fighting into urban terrain and I believe we were also going across maybe we're, yes we were going across a river on a bridge there so lots of 
good bonuses for the defender there. So we managed to mitigate all those and get a really solid attack in. And then, of course, it didn't hurt that I rolled a two for the result, meaning that either a step loss or a, a retreat was going to be required. Now, I don't want to lose the division, so I took the retreat with the hope, vain as it may be, and uh, uh, small chance as it is, that these regiments here next turn can maybe sally across and attack here. Uh, this is now a very busy hex. We're going to have to move units out of there and bring other guys in. Uh, this the unit in here is uh, underneath here that I retreated into was reduced as well, or has taken a step loss. So what does all that mean? It means that we pulled back two VPs, but we also now own uh, uh, recaptured one of the hexes for Stockholm. That's worth ten victory points. Those ten victory points now go away. So that's a net twelve uh, taken off of the. Uh, the Warsaw Pact Soviet side. Not only that, because the Soviets also in desperation tried to send in their own ground support for their defense, they lost uh, more steps doing that because they were intercepted. Actually, they were intercepted by these guys. Uh, these guys did not participate in the, uh, in the, ground, in the ground support, now that I remember uh, correctly. These were part of our air superiority force, which go back here. So uh, we, we drove off, we aborted and inflicted damage and step losses on, uh, on the three units that decided to try and press their, their, their uh, press into this particular mega hex here and support the Soviet divisional base. And they all took step losses. So it's not only a 12 VP swing now, it's now uh, I think an additional uh, one, one VP per step lost, so that's three more uh, VPs, that's 15. So where are we at? at? At turn four, at the end of the Soviet turn, we had roughly 107 victory points for the Soviets, based on my rough math, and 32 for the NATO side. Now, we subtract 107 from 32, and I can tell you that uh, based on the numbers that we need to get to secure a marginal victory for the Soviet forces, we need between 50 and 89. No, sorry, we need between 90 and 129 uh, VPs for a marginal Warsaw Pact victory. We're not going to get there because last time I checked, uh, 107 minus 32 is going to be less than 90. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> I don't see how we, I'm not sure I can get back into that hex next turn. I'm not sure that uh, even even with this uh, these MI8s, because of the flak and because uh, I, you know, we're, we've got to, we've got to assume that NATO is gonna go hardcore there and uh, wanna keep that hex, uh, keep that mega hex next turn. And as we found out in the last exercise of trying to do long range air superiority, that's a bad thing. And it didn't work out very well for the Soviets. And in fact, we, we lost uh, close to 14 uh, uh, steps or 10 steps thereabouts. So it was an absolute ass kicking uh, that turn, which is the means that, you know, we're, out, we're really in a very fragile state with our air, our airframes, our naval forces have been chewed up. I now have lost uh, enough shipping that I cannot move by naval transport a full division, which means I can't get a full division here. And the only divisions I have left uh, to bring on is A, an armor uh, formation and B, a mech formation. And I don't believe I can move them by air. So, <clears throat> so they're hosed. Uh, we can't, uh, we don't have the shipping capacity to get them onto the mainland here. Now, kind of raises a question in my mind as I'm playing this. I don't see how it's possible to actually get all four or five. Is it four or five? Maybe it's one, two, three, four. It is five. I don't see how you get five divisions onto the map in five turns. Um, there may be a way to do it. I made some choices in the first turn about where where I was going to go and what I was going to go with. 
uh, and that may have been the wrong choice in terms of landings and things like that. I, I, I decided to assault into this naval base here first up. Uh, may have been a mistake. And I used a smaller force, perhaps I should have come with a full division. And that may have sorted things out. Who knows? Anyway, I think at the end of the day, I think we're, we're at a point, it's a stopping point here. I've still got other things I can do with the uh, West German uh, Air Force. They've got these really cool uh, naval uh, units, these tornadoes that uh, they're not naval units, they're, they're tornado aircraft that uh, can, can do missile bombing runs, standoff no less, against shipping and against, uh, against uh, naval forces. So I would target shipping units again and attempt to uh, whittle away uh, at those forces, or I could uh, cherry pick and start looking for damaged uh, Soviet ships uh, that are worth VPs and start sinking them. Uh, it's only two units you're saying, I hear you, but uh, if I, I've got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, six units, six naval units over here in this task force three, these guys over here, the six guys that are reduced, all I need to do is get uh, two hits one hit on each, uh, and I can uh, I can knock out two more ships. That'll give me four more VPs as the NATO forces. So that is uh, that's pretty powerful stuff. So I think we're at a stopping point here. I have certainly uh, teased my brain a lot. Uh, it's been very very interesting and a lot of fun as well. Uh, there's enormous narrative coming out of this. So uh, I'd love to be able to invest some time and in doing some writing on this, but I don't think I'm going to have the uh, bandwidth to do that uh, at the moment. I'm already well behind on a couple of different uh, projects. So, uh, plus there's that whole working thing. Uh, anyway, talk to all of you soon. Enjoy Deadly Northern Lights. I hope you enjoyed watching the handful of videos. Stay tuned on the blog for some level of write-up. It may not be uh, the, the, the full boat, the narrative thing or any of that action, but it might just be a quick summary with a bunch of pictures and hopefully that'll be entertaining and interesting for you. Uh, Bigboard.com. All right, take care. All the best. Roll dice.